When pilots approach a towered airport for landing, there are opportunities for miscommunication and visual mistakes that can lead to the aircraft arriving on the wrong surface. Wrong surface landings are serious events that occur at an alarming rate of roughly one every other day. FAA data shows that 85% of wrong surface landings involve general aviation aircraft. And 89% of those events occur during daytime hours in VFR weather. Let's look at some issues that contribute to wrong surface landings, including airfield geometry, communications, and expectation bias. Geometry contributes to wrong surface landings. Parallel runways account for 75% of wrong surface landings overall, and parallel runways with offset thresholds account for more than 50% of landings on the wrong surface. Parallel runways with different dimensions and or surface color may be confusing. For instance, it can lead to a lineup with the dominant surface or runway that is closer, longer, or wider. At this airport, notice that there is a shorter offset runway on the right side. It does not stand out as much as the dominant runway directly in front of us. The dominant runway can draw your attention away from your assigned runway. In addition, a parallel taxiway can be mistaken for a runway, especially when it is similar in length. There have been numerous landings on parallel taxiways. Use onboard navigation aids such as the localizer, ILS, or GPS to verify alignment with the correct runway. Nighttime conditions also create visual challenges that can trick even an experienced professional pilot. Lighting around the airport can make it more difficult to locate the airport, much less the correct surface. Be prepared. Know what runway lights and approach lights are on the runways you may encounter. If the runways have visual glide path information, know which side the VASI or PAPI is located. Good communication is key to preventing landing on the wrong surface. Always include your call sign and your assigned landing runway when you read back any landing clearance. It is very important that you actively listen, that is, hear and clearly understand the actual runway on which the controller has cleared you to land. Verify that you are going to the correct runway. Be aware that in 80% of wrong surface landings, pilots have made a correct readback yet still landed on the wrong surface. Avoid distractions and always have your airfield diagram out and available for reference, even when you have been to that airport before. Expectation bias happens when pilots incorrectly hear and act upon what they expect instead of the clearance that the controller issued. Operational norms that can contribute to expectation bias include expecting a touch and go on one runway and full stop on another, or landing on the runway closest to the parking ramp terminal, or hangar. Be aware of such tendencies so that you do not fall into a similar trap. Remember that if you are ever in doubt of your approach or your assigned runway, don't hesitate to ask ATC to clarify. You always have the option to execute a go-around. If you do execute a go-around, notify the controller promptly. Landing on a taxiway or wrong runway can happen to any pilot. Share your knowledge and apply these best practices. Together, we can all contribute to the safest aviation system in the world. Look, listen, focus. Lives are at stake.